Israeli forces kill two Palestinian boys with drone-fired missile in Chilkaram. Israeli forces killed two Palestinian boys using a drone-fired missile early this morning in the northwestern occupied West Bank. Israeli forces killed Hamza Ahmed Mustafa Maid, 16, and Ahmed Abdulrahman Issa Saleh, 17, using a drone-fired missile around 2 a.m. on 27 December during a military incursion into Norsham's refugee camp, located east of the Palestinian city of Chilkaram, according to documentation collected by Defense for Children International, Palestine. Hamza and Ahmed both sustained injuries to their head and chest from missile fragments. Ambulances attempted to access the location of the strike in the Almajar neighborhood, but Israeli forces blocked access for about one hour, searching the ambulances. Hamza and Ahmed were eventually transferred to Thibet Thibet Governmental Hospital in Chilkaram where they were pronounced dead on arrival. Israeli forces are shouting to the world through their actions that Palestinian children are undoubtedly targets, said Aid Abu Ektaish, Accountability Program Director at SIP. The international community's complete failure to act in any meaningful way to protect Palestinian children does nothing more than empower Israeli forces to increasingly target Palestinian children across the occupied Palestinian territory. Israeli forces accompanied by military bulldozers and aircraft entered Norsham's refugee camp around 12.30 a.m. on Wednesday and began destroying parts of the al Barim kindergarten, a three-story building, and civil infrastructure leading to power outages. Armed Palestinians confronted Israeli forces during the military incursion and a group of Palestinian youth threw homemade explosives. Hamza and Ahmed were targeted in the location where Palestinian youth had previously thrown homemade explosives, but they were not part of the group, according to information collected by TSIP. Israeli forces withdrew around 7 a.m. 79 Palestinian children have been killed in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to documentation collected by TSIP when the Israeli military began a full-scale military offensive on the Gaza Strip dubbed Operation Iron Swords. So far this year, Israeli forces and settlers have killed at least 119 Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by TSIP. Israeli forces and settlers shot and killed 100 Palestinian children with live ammunition, 14 Palestinian children were killed in drone strikes, for Palestinian children were killed by missiles fired from AU.S, sourced a Pash attack helicopter, and one child was killed in an Israeli warplane airstrike. Under international law, intentional lethal force is only justified in circumstances where a direct threat to life or of serious injury is present. However, investigations and evidence collected by TSIP regularly suggest that Israeli forces use lethal force against Palestinian children in circumstances that may amount to extrajudicial or willful killings.